Mixing Station keeps getting more and more awesome with every update and it gets very frequent updates and new features. And I just noticed that some things are new in the channel strip settings. So now you can do custom buttons and custom sliders in the channel strip. This is the default layout. Let me go to the top right corner of the screen to the gear icon and then channel strip. Other things that you could put on the channel strip were here, but now it's a lot more organized. So now you click add and they are divided into categories. And this is the custom category that I'm really excited about so let me give you an example of a channel strip that I might use I'll create a custom button and it's right here let me put it on the top and I will hit the gear icon next to it and this is just like any other custom button you make in the layout but now it's inside the channel strip so you can put whatever you want on that button that lives in the channel strip let me call this plus 48 V. This will be the phantom power. And let me make the theme red. And I don't want to accidentally turn on or off the phantom power. So I'm going to make it a long click and go down to head amp and plus 48. Now on the channel strip, I have a button that will turn on phantom power. So if I click and hold, turns it on. If I just click like that, it doesn't do anything. I have to hold it. That's really cool. Let me add another custom button. And this one will be the polarity switch. So go to the settings and type in here phi. On Windows, it's Alt and 232. It gives you this symbol that we usually use for polarity. Or you could just type polarity. It's really whatever you want. And I'll make the color cyan just because why not. And I'll do a click behavior. So click means that I have to press and let go. If I press and move away from it, it doesn't do anything. Touch. It's as soon as I touch it, it activates. Long click, you have to press and hold. So let me do click and preamp, invert. Now you can see I have a polarity button on the channel strip. I don't need to go inside the channel and then click here. I can just do this from the outside. Now I'm going to add a custom slider. Let me put it on top. Go to the settings. I will call this low cut. Hit OK. Add action, preamp, filter, frequency. Now this is the low cut of the channel but i still don't know if the low cut is turned on or off so let me create a button to turn on or off the low cut add custom button settings call it lc and make it color green click behavior preamp filter on go back and i'm gonna put the button right here so now i know these channels don't have the low cut filter turned on even if the frequency is visible right here i can turn it on or off really quickly without going into the channel and clicking here let me also add a few more things let's add diagrams i want the gate diagram and i also want to add the compression diagram and and also the EQ diagram. And I'm putting it in the same order like the native M32 edit app. So gate EQ compression, like here, gate EQ compression. Now you can even see this interaction right here. If I move the frequency, you can see in the EQ graph, it's moving and the low cut turning on and off. Let me also add gate threshold and the compressor threshold. So add general compressor threshold. I'll put it underneath the compressor and add general gate threshold. I'll put it underneath the gate now everything is too big and the fader is almost gone so let me make things smaller and i think this is pretty useful you can turn on phantom power invert the polarity turn on low cut filter change the frequency of the filter change the threshold of the gate and the compressor all these things you can do from the mixer view which in my opinion is very efficient because i always find myself clicking on the channel and going in and out and in and out especially during sound check all the active di boxes that require phantom power you can also put a gain slider if you want general gain and i'll put it on top so now you really can do everything so this really speeds up the setup time now maybe you don't always need the gate so you can remove it and make the faders longer if you don't have a very big screen. So let's remove the gate and the threshold of the gate. And instead, I want to add a control for some EQ band. So let me add custom slider and I'll put it underneath the EQ. Go to settings and let's do high shelf add action and it will be eq you need to know the number of the band this is band number four let's make it a high shelf and in here i will set it to band number four gain so now in the channel strip i can do this without opening the eq i can make someone's voice brighter or darker without going into the eq all while still being in the mixer view you want also frequency control let's do that let's add another custom slider put it underneath that one and let's do frequency add action eq band 4 frequency now this is the gain this is the frequency of the shelf i'm just giving you ideas 
The sky is the limit. Do whatever you want to do, whatever fits your workflow the best. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and click on the video on the screen right now and I'll see you there.